Good morning and welcome back to school. Uh, today we've got our last week of A-Day day B-Days and then next Monday all of those who are returning to us in person will be back with us. So this is a great week to play catch up because um, I don't want you to have to be catching up with your A-Day day day work while we're back in school because the only time we'll have for that is the fun stuff. So make sure that you're getting all of that work done this week, staying caught up so that fresh start next Monday on the 15th. Today is March the 8th um, and Miss Alms is with us to do our national anthem just as soon as we finish up the pledge. So let's get our day started by standing for the pledge. Move that up a little bit there. So, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spin Banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we're having for lunch today on the 8th of March. We're having chicken patty on a bun, tater tots, and corn. That's what we're having. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's see who's celebrating a birthday today on the 8th. We don't have any 8th birthdays, huh? Not a one. Seven, seven, nope, not any of them. So, All right. Our manner of the week is make sure that your teacher can see all of your face. So that's if you're virtual or even if you're here. I've noticed that we've got lots and lots of people wearing hoodies and they're tied all the way around their faces so we can barely see you. Um, I, I'm not comfortable with that. It makes me a little anxious um, because you know me, I don't like masks and things. So if you've got on a hoodie, I need you to pull that down, even if you're virtual because your teacher needs to see you, okay? It's also um, helpful to make sure that when you're doing your virtual meet that your teacher sees all of your face and not like part of it like it's cut off or something like that, okay? So all your face. All right, it is still Women's History Month. Today we're going to talk about Sandra Day O'Connor. In 1981, Sandra Day O'Connor became the first female Supreme Court judge. She served from 1981 until 2006 when she retired. She was the first woman to serve as Senate Majority Leader. She even attended Stanford University at only 16. Man, she went to college at 16. After retirement, she still served in judicial service. On August the 12th, 2009, Barack Obama awarded her the Presidential Medal of Freedom, which is the highest civilian honor. She is now 90 years old, has moved away from public life due to her health, but her legacy will last forever. Here's her quote. Do the best you can in every task, no matter how unimportant it may seem. Oh, that's perfect for school. Do your best. Even if you don't think it looks very important or it doesn't seem very important, just do your best. All righty, let's see. I think I have some. Um, oh, just a couple of quick reminders. Remember that we are doing um, Power Up and we're trying to get 100 minutes per week and that's a lot of minutes but we do a lot of reading in school and stuff too so remember that if we meet our goal every single person in the school gets Kona okay for free so make sure that we're trying to work on doing that we talked already about getting caught up um, so that when we start fresh next week we will be um, we we'll have to have people like sitting at recess getting work caught up all right let's see who we've got shout outs on today um, Zane White from Miss Lee's class always treats others the way he wants to be treated. He used kind words while leading his group in the breakout room, telling his team how great they were doing. Nice job, Zane. 
Um, Ariana Masi is also from Miss Lee's class. She follows all those rules. She was a responsible leader in her group. She made, every, made sure everyone participated and encouraged her team. She even helped a friend solve a mic problem by telling them to type their answer in the chat box. She's a great leader. Um, Malavan, Cruz, and Jack um, did their best. The boys came, these boys came up with an antonym for smooth as a bean, smooth as a team, maybe it's a team, and the word they came up with was textured. That's pretty cool. Oh, I see. They came up for, with an antonym as a team, and the word was textured. Okay. I was thinking maybe smooth as a team was a new lingo I didn't know. All right. Will Moberly and Kehlani Santiago from Ms. Wicks's class, both Will and Kehlani gave in Incredible text evidence on their short answer questions. Wow, that's great. Clay Morgan did his best. He was the only student on A Day to complete all of his assignments. Way to go, Clay. And then Miss Wicks's B Day students did their best. Her B Day class did an incredible job on their asynchronous assignments. They're working hard and getting things completed. And then um, you know, Ilona and Emmett and Zane and Miss Lee's class passed nine or more lessons in I Ready for the week. Great job, you guys. Whew, you guys are hot. That's really working hard. I love that. <clears throat> okay, I got a joke from Caden Stugan. She sent me one that we've already done, but she also said, what kind of dress can't be worn? An address. <laughs> I like that one, too. <laughs> the Psalms like that one, too. Uh, let's see. Why did the boy take the ruler to bed? To see how long he slept. Why did the melon jump into the lake? Because it wanted to be a watermelon. Um, why was the boy sitting on his watch? Because he wanted to be on time. And why can't a bicycle stand up? Because it's too tired. Get it? Two tires. Say the Red Oak Girls with me. Respect ourselves, others, and our place. Expect to learn. Do our best. Own our behavior. Always treat others the way you want to be treated and know we can. It is so important to me that you are kind to one another, that you keep your hands and feet to yourselves, and that while you're here at school, our hallways and our bathrooms are silent places. Have a fabulous Monday. Stay on top of your work, and then I'll see everybody in the morning. Love you guys.